So, Rob, we have a U.S. company trying to buy a European company with tax benefits a big part of the deal. This isn't Pfizer and AstraZeneca, but it is another in the medical world. What's the latest deal? It's uh, Medtronic, which makes medical devices, primarily small machines that are put in your chest to keep you from having heart failure, uh, buying Covidian, which makes uh, technology used primarily in surgeries. And it, there are important echoes of the AstraZeneca deal from Pfizer in as much as we have a lot of financial logic, but modest strategic logic, if any strategic logic at all. So is this just a, another play on the tax system? Uh, broadly speaking, it's very much like uh, Pfizer, AstraZeneca, and taxes are very important. But there are two crucial differences. One is that the gap between Medtronic and Covidian's tax rates is smaller. So just looking at it, the, the tax suppression isn't as important an element. And second, they're less research, these device companies are less research intensive operations. So where there was this kind of emotional response to the Pfizer-AstraZeneca deal, where these multi-billion dollar life-saving research programs were threatened with being reduced or cut, there's a smaller element of that here, both of which make this deal more palatable and probably have something to do with why they got an agreed deal and Pfizer couldn't. But how does it look from, from the, uh, the Shell's perspective if there's not great industrial logic and the tax benefits are less impressive than they were in, in Pfizer and Astra? What's the big benefit? Well, there is another tax benefit other than simply reducing the tax rate, which is that when you're domiciled in uh, Ireland, as it is in this case, you can repatriate cash from abroad without incurring this sort of violent repatriation tax they have in the United States, 35% off the top. So as these comp this combined company generates cash, it's easier to bring cash home, pay it out as a dividend, or do with it what you will. So that is a sort of future tax benefit that's hard to quantify now. It depends on how much cash they generate, what they decide to do, it, do with it, but it's still an important uh, element. But there is a question about given the $10 billion premium that Medtronic is paying, the relatively moderate uh, tax benefits, the relative lack of strategic merits, the bill looks pretty high here. So not necessarily a, a great deal here, but still one driven by tax, and I suspect we're going to see more of the same in the future. Well. No question about it. Thanks very much.